Are you bored to have the same format in your Word document all the time? Arlene here. Let's talk about how to switch a boring style into a spectacular Word document with just a couple of clicks. Let's start at our home menu. In this tab, you can give a general style to your document with different fonts, sizes, paragraphs, styles, titles within the styles, and more. Today we're going to focus on the styles section. The styles tool is a powerful one because with it you can just choose from a pre-selected format that will style your document, such as the title of this recipe. Let's say intense emphasis, strong, quote, let's choose an intense quote style. As you can see now, the title of a recipe looks way different and it's given its style. Want more style? Why don't you give a like to this video and subscribe to our channel? Let's keep talking about a couple of steps to completely change the format of our document. Let's select the ingredients title and click on the intense reference. Now let's select all of our ingredients and let's choose the quote style. Let's select the method title and also give it an intense reference. Now let's select our method text and let's give it an intense quote. Wow. It looks a lot different than the beginning, right? We did this in just a few seconds. And if you want to know specifically which style format you are using in a certain text, just double click on it and Word will automatically tell you which format it has. Another nice feature of Word is that you can share your work with other people. And you do that by clicking on the share button and either search your address book for contacts or just type in the email address. You can choose whether they'll be able to edit or just view. Add a note to it and click the share button. And then you'll specify where a copy of this file will be kept in your computer. You can also send this document as an attachment. You do that by clicking send as attachment and choose whether you want to send a copy of this Word document or even send it as a PDF file. Now, in order to use this sharing feature though, you will need to have your Outlook account configured with your own email address. If you want to know how to do that, take a look at our tutorial video called MS Outlook 365 Install and Configure for the First Time. From our Outlook series, starting from minute 2, it explains how to configure your email address with Outlook and therefore the rest of your Microsoft software programs. Now we know how to style our document and how to share it. So let's send this recipe as a PDF file. We fill in our email window and off it goes!